Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution and we are back in the biological preserve with us last leaving off with Ceratosaurus here making his way to well everybody here but as you can see he is being tranquilized at the moment I think is he going down I think yep there he goes he is down and we are gonna send him all the way back over to here and well yeah it's close enough and what were we doing last time I can't remember it's been a while since I've recorded one of these let's see fossils what do we have brachiosaurus one of those ooh more brachiosaurus sell all that that's good let's get all of this and what were we what else were we getting like let's see ceratosaurus 100% Right, I think we were going to get Dilophosaurus and finish up Brachiosaurus as well. And what else is here? Like, these guys, they're all done. So, we're going to get Brachiosaurus up and Dilophosaurus. So, for this episode, we're going to be introducing some carnivores and even some herbivores, maybe. Like, let's see, let's... I want to get a Rhinosaurus, that's a good choice, and... Maybe we could get Homalocephalae right now. I don't think that's like the best idea because they're going to be easily killed with, oh, excuse me, carnivores that we're going to introduce. And like, also, they're very picky in comparison. So I don't think it's the best idea. Genetic stuff. I do want to go on that. So let's get um the tooth hardness. And then after that, we'll work on crocodile as well. We'll focus on these two. And then, what can we get in here? Anything interesting? Uh, we might actually go for the electrified heavy steel, because I'm thinking about using that for one of the um, guest areas for the preserve. Let's get some more herbivores, and we're going to actually start spreading them out and stuff. Wait, what do we have so far? Like, we've got Triceratops, yeah, we've got two, Struthiomimus. Okay, so I am going to actually be moving some of the dinosaurs over to here because I want to start spreading them out a bit let's get some feeders actually we'll put them not too close I want to actually force them to spread out and we're gonna move probably Taurosaurus and Packy because both those are the most picky let's move um the Packies first and where's the other ones? Is there one? Nope, there's none over there. There's one right here. And, well, I'll have to get the other one later. Expedition waiting. That's good. That's good. Ooh, nice. Amber for both. And more Dilophosaurus, of course, of course. Let's get all the amber chunks first. And we'll, we'll get our Renosaurus in a second. Let's just focus on these guys one more time. And then we can start switching. And what's, what's the yellow one over here? Oh, it's my sword, so I, yeah, I don't care about that. But, what carnivores could we get, actually? Let's see. Albertosaurus? Mm, that's an interesting one. Pterodon? No. Um, Metricanthosaurus? Uh, interesting, t but no. Suchomimus, Archaeonithomimus, and is that Allosaurus? That's Allosaurus. I'm gonna get Suco, because... I want to have a Spinosaurus right here, and how long till Barry? Yeah, Baryonyx is a while away, so we gotta wait. And, oh, did you get him? There you go. All the way up here. And also, did Ceratosaurus land? Yes, he did, and he's still here. Which, also, I'm gonna actually update this, which we'll get to building this in a second, guys. Just bear with me. We're gonna rocky this up a bit, like... I want to make it more rocky and like with veins and stuff. Like veins of grass, veins of, you know, dirt. And over here too. And right there. How's that? Does that look better? Yeah, that looks better. We can actually cut down a bit on the, um... Let's cut a bit down on the bushes, like here, and then we'll change it with dirt, actually. 
and a bit over there. Oops, sorry, Serato, we just um disappointed you. So let's change it to dirt. And how's that? Yeah, that looks much better. A bit of dirt, a bit of all, and ooh, chunking source. Yep, both chunkings, and oh, we are getting rich with these. Now let's grab one from Arano, and we'll go with Dilophosaurus first, who's on 50%, so we could actually start going for him. Taurosaurus is down. Let's get the other two, and then we will move them, and actually let's make a few more struthies because they're cheap let's make three more and one of them we will modify the skin because I want to have different version let's see Tundra or Eric Eric's got that cool color so we'll go for you right now and I don't really care about the missions and how are we for power like let's see unmute Okay, both are medium. And we might as well start flattening this, actually, because I should, you know, try and keep it evened. Sukumimus, there we go. Finally, it's ready. So we, we'll probably introduce Dilophosaurus and add a few more Serratos first and wait on Sukumimus. And then once we hit two stars, I'm going straight for a Guandan. That's going to be like our big herbivore because like we're going to try and modify them all to be sort of... Percentage is increasing. This means you are doing well. So look at it as a compliment. Well, not really. My star rating has gone down crazy See, like because, well, you know, I'm missing a bunch of my dinosaurs. Disease. Who is sick? Oh, great. He's all the way over here. I'm going to send you to do it, and also, I just realized, let's add more teams, because we're going to need those, and also, we need to name you, and s since it's a classic name, we'll go with Hectilius. Bruton will be the Savannah version, which, we'll get him in a second, and the Struthies are done, let's re- oh, nope, that one's already good, and let's add- one more power station at the moment, ding off somewhere. Oh, and this guy, he kind of went the wrong way. He left his friends. But we'll deal with that later. Let's actually add a feeder here. Now you may be wondering why am I not doing this with um, Serato? Because It's because I don't have enough species yet to, you know, accept him going on a rampage and killing everything just yet. And also, speaking of which, let's actually add a few more Triceratops, but we're going to modify these guys. We're going to modify them. We're going to have these as Jurassic Park variants, and we will have Turtle on this guy. And then Lifespan here, and we only need 30%, so success rate... And success rate and we'll make we'll make three of them yeah that should be good and how many triceratops do we have here right now okay we've got two so we are fine and actually I do want to add another one to the oh it just got dark here all right Brachiosaurus will add a feeder right there for you my friend and, oh, well, how how far is that away from you? Okay, so he can sense him here, which is good. They'll be fine now. I should probably put one a little bit closer. Like, probably right in the middle, but right there is good. And he's just like, ugh, this is a long journey. And... Oh, yeah, that's Suko, so... Let's go... Oh, oh yeah... Oh, I completely forgot about that. That's going to be a pain, but we're not going to be making Suko just yet. Like, he'll be made later, but oh, wow, we made a lot of sales here. These two, very nice. And then, what are we doing here? 
We can't get any paleo bought any building upgrades. Let's just let's get these ones. And then buildings, what buildings do we have? Uh these four. We we're not using them anyway, so let's not waste our money on them. And two stars. What do we need? What do we need? Okay, so poor satisfaction, which I think while we're both increasing species population count, we're also going to start work on here, which we're going to first add a restroom right here. And then we'll add the primary ones first. Oh, yep, yeah, that's in the radius. So right there. Now, how much space is back there? Could we... F no, we can't fit anything back there, so... We'll just stick with this. And then... We put a restaurant, so... Clothes shop. And we're gonna make it a little bit fancy back here. Well, actually, we'll change the path. And now, can we, what could, could we actually fit the bathrooms back here instead? That way I can save some space over here. Probably. Now. Toy shop, we can go for that. Well, we'll go like this. And then we'll fill the path in here. Do something like sort of fancy right here. Maybe put some trees. So, concrete. Well, if you could classify it as concrete. Alright, there you go. There we go. Oh! Okay, we are almost done two stars. Oh, a feeder needs resupplying. And I don't think we can fit any more buildings here, which... Ooh, that is a little unfortunate. Can we flatten any more? That doesn't matter. Nope. I need to level first. Oh, that is level, so... Okay, so... What if we try to do a... Now, what would we need here? Like, let's see. Food. Okay, that's on demand, even though this is right there. Drink. Okay, so these ones are 100%. We need a food. We need a food. Now, how much space is back here? Could we somehow squeeze in... A fast food? I don't think so. No, we can't. Could we squeeze in, perhaps? Now, let's put a few trees in here. Like, can we fit this? Nope, definitely not that one. Can we fit one of you in here? One of you kinds of trees. Can we fit you right in the middle? Thanks oh, I saw that blue. There we go. And then can we do the small tree? Yes, we can. Oh, oh, oh dear. Ah, I see his feeders. So he needs food, I think, that is. Is he fighting something? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's fighting something. Let's head over there. We'll tranquilize him, send him back to his meat. Or if... Come on, let's go. We gotta hurry. We gotta save that in Cairo source. We're not ready for the biological preserve. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. We, we've gotta get there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't bite him again. Oh, no. Don't. Don't kill him. I, I'm working on it. Oh, oh, no. Please tell me he's not dead. Oh. Don't call it off. 
There you go. Drop it. Drop it. 52. Ooh, he got two hits on him. Come on. He should be down. There you go. Now, let's get that helicopter. Heal them both. Starting with you. Or not, because you're running off. Heal you. Oh god, he's twitching out. He, he's having a glitch effect. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit of a disaster in the brewing. But, that is my mistake. Collecting asset. And, where, where are you going? Did he not come from... Why didn't he just go straight this way? Weird. Now, how are these guys doing? How are they all doing? Are they g good here? Yeah, they're fine. Ooh, that is a lovely sunset. Sunset? Ooh, nice. Lying by the tree. Phasing a little into it, but, you know, that's... Oh, excuse me. That's fine, but that's a lovely shot. Like, you know, just have them sitting down. Pachycephalosaurus 2, um, phasing into each other as nature intended. Got it pretty good. So, oh, yeah. Hyangosaurus, which... We could actually... Should we actually get one right now? Yeah, why not? I want a Hyangosaurus. And it'll be a good dinosaur to include. But, let's see. Is everything doing good here so far? Wait, is everything on 100%? Everything is on 100%. What is stopping us from reaching two stars? A uh, poor variety. 20 dinosaurs. How much more do you need? So greedy. So needy. We could actually introduce a tour. Like, do we even have a tour right, actually? Like, I don't know. No, we don't. But we could introduce one in the future. Ranger team scheduling, that's good. Let's get the, uh, the, the what's it called? ACU scheduling. Uh, ACU, move out. Let's grab you. And now we just have to wait for something to happen, because we can't really do anything else until we get, you know some more species, but we could actually, like, update this, which I'm gonna f do by first getting rid of, um, some trees over here, because I want to actually, you know, make this into, like, sort of a more open spot and definitely get rid of the trees on the river, like, we don't want too many, like, just some, and then little bits of breaks in here. Like, not too much. And dinosaur ready to release? Hyangosaurus, you may come out first, since you are a new addition to the park for the species roster. Oh, it froze for a second. Welcome. Aw, Mr. Squeakers. Or Miss. Oh, we hit two stars. Thank God. Mr. Ah, the Hyangosaurus. Another member of the Stegosaurians. Yep, Mr. Squeakers. Your park rating is up. Things are going your way. Mr. Last, huh? <laughs> Mr. Squeak was able to successfully get us there. Now, Let's go on to fossils first, which, oh, oh my god, we've got a lot. We've got Stiggy Moloch, we've got all these guys, which, let's get that first. Nasutoceratops, ooh, tempting. Critanosaurus, tempting as well. Paleobotany's ready. Medical stuff, let's get those first. And then, let's see, building upgrades. That, ooh, the, ooh, nice. Dig Team Charlie, Dig Team... Well, research team Charlie enclosures. We got the gyrosphere. Oh, when's um the tour truck? Three stars. Okay, not too far. Buildings. We'll get those and that after diseases, of course. And what dinosaurs do we actually have? What do we have any good ones? Like, like good good ones. Let's see. Syntatosaurus. Ooh, that's a good one. No, nothing new there. Hey, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Let's see, what do we got? Carithosaurus, Chasmosaurus, and Edmontosaurus. That's a good one. Uh, let's see, my source still. Deinonychus. Ooh, I don't want to go for him. Um, Deinonychus. Apatosaurus. Ooh, Apatosaurus would be a good one to go with. There you go. They are done. And ooh, it'll take less than a minute for those. 
And how quick is this going? Okay, that's going at a reasonable pace. And... Ooh, we could have Brachiosaurus actually come over here if, like, it wants to. Because that would be a good thing for guests to view. But... Now back to this. I do want to work on this. So... We're gonna... Make it, like, definitely for... I want to have one tree, like, right in the middle there. And then, right here, I want to have it heavily, um, filled right over here. Because I... Oh, it's getting dark. The storm is making it dark, guys. It's not looking good. And then, a few more trees. I want to make it heavy over here, as if, like, you know, once it reaches this tree, it's like, you know, I'm going to start breaking off. And, ooh, the, the lighting in this game it still amazes me how good this amazing this game looks and I can't wait to play evolution to like how good it's gonna look there and then we'll add a bit of grass like we'll actually make this um quite grassy and stuff and then like cuts of dirt actually so we'll do right here like veins of it so right there and how does that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. We could actually, we will actually forest it up a little bit more over here because we don't want it looking, you know, fully like it's just been like cut there. So like little breaks here and there like that. That looks much better. And then we'll work on over here. Like, you know, we'll get a bit more dirt actually because we need to have some veins, which means we have to break up some of the grass like you know like right about here and then Right there, nice and oh god, it's getting really dark. Oh, oh, for gosh sakes, the Serato just, Hectilius, he just wants to, fine, we'll put a feeder over here for you. How does that sound? And you know what? We'll actually make you some friends. Oh, wait, no, it's too close to the giant Brachiostachosaurus. Right here. And also, somebody, I, I can't, can't remember where it was. It was I think it was in a YouTube video, one of my commenters. They asked me to make a goat pen, like, you know, in the guest area, which I thought was kind of weird and stuff, but I'm gonna follow in the Game Beaver's footsteps and make right in somewhere in the middle a little goat pen for, like, you know, the carnivores. But that's gonna probably be in the next episode and stuff, because I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't want it to be in the way for me to just then destroy it. <clears throat> but... Let's actually make two more Ceratosaurus, which we are going to modify them just a little t- Oh, crud. We can't make Bruton. Hold on, hold on. We gotta stop everything. Shut down the park, guys, because we don't have Bruton skin. Where's the savannah? Where is it? Oh, for gosh sakes. Again? Uh, hold on. Go and heal him. And then ACU. Tranquilize this guy because we're not ready. Let's see 79. Okay. They are somewhat even at base level But where is Savannah? Like did I miss it? Hold on. Let's let's do a little count guys Okay, so we got tundra step rainforest arid woodland Alpine coastal tundra jungle wetland. Oh, oh there's Savannah. There you go and then Building upgrades, building upgrades. We need... Outage protection can wait. Wait. And now we reach the inevitable. What? No! Begets death. But here's the question. You murderer! Was this avoidable? Oh! The answer? <laughs> of course not. Death, it's always coming. I'm but sorry, Ian. Could you have delayed it? Well... well Maybe another story. Well, I gave him his beef patty, but you know what? 
He was rude. And who'd he kill? Did please tell me it was unidentified. Aha! It had no name. It means it wasn't real. And also, what's your name? We'll call you... Polly. Well, no. Pooley. I don't know why Pooley. <coughs> oh, God. I don't know. Maybe because it just made me sneeze or something. Pooley. Like, what kind of name is that? If you guys have a suggestion for a better name. Okay, so once that um, lovely um, Savannah skin is ready, we will make Bruton and... Uh, Ceratosaurus number three. I don't have a name for him. He'll probably have to wait. And now, let's go Iguanagodon again. And then, uh, well, what what dinosaurs do we have here? Could we get... Ooh, Dreadnoughtus would be a nice one, I gotta admit. I, I, I want to do Nasutoceratops, but we already have two Ceratopsins. So, I think we should wait on him. Plus, we're gonna have ugh, Sinoceratops and Chasmosaurus like, waiting to be made, but we can't be, so let's get Mr. Homalocephaly, and then once that's done, we will go into buildings, and then we will, you know, come on, build the arcade, and wait, what? Hold on. What one red? Oh, oh, we got storm, wait, storms? Storms? Uh, I did not. I did not know of that at the moment. Well, let's um. In the storm, we shall make the new apex ceratosauruses, which carnivores are starting to take over. He's up oh, structure damage. God damn it! And then we'll take. Oh, no power. Oh, my little tiny substation. You shall be fixed by the power of my hand, or, you know, my car. And back to this, since we were so rudely interrupted. And we're not going to upgrade him, like, okay, so I want to keep them in, like, a similar level of attack and defense. So for this guy, we, let's see, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll do that. And, oh, he costs 913. Wait, will they fail? No, they won't. They have 40%. They're good. They're good, guys. They're good. And so he's like, God damn it, will you stop moving me back here? It's so lonely. Don't worry, you're getting friends, my dear Hectilius. My brother. Which also, how's it doing here? Where's the view? Ah, oh, over the hill comes the Saratosaurus. And oh boy, that storm is getting loud. And it, it's breaking everything. Good God, Jesus. It broke me. <gasps> no! It broke the toilets. And it's on fire, actually. Uh, if anyone's in there, please finish going to the bathroom. Or, you know, I'm not going to finish that sentence because it's funny, but no. <gasps> no! Oh, oh, God. The kitchen kind of burnt down, guys. It wasn't a due to the storm. It's just a... Ooh, iguanodons are ready. How much are they, you know? How much is an Aguandon at base level? Three! Three hundred. And I think they need... I think they need three, so we'll definitely be spending, like, more than a thousand... More than a million, for sure. I was about to say a thousand. It's like, whoa, they ain't that cheap. Alright, so... What do we do? Like, I want to make a mountainous area. Like, maybe over here. And then, like, you know... Right at the, ooh, we could have, like, right at the entrance here, like here, the goat pen, and then we have, like, a mountainous terrain, sort of like, you know, the river that's gonna, like, you know, turn here, and then go around the circular part, and then, you know, cut somewhere, I don't know, over here. Maybe we could have, like, a little tiny stream that, like, sort of breaks off, goes in between, yeah, that's sounding great. And also, we need to... Arcade is actually doing good. We could add an arcade, but we are having fun here. We are having fun, guys, right? Yeah, we are. And park overcrowding, 1%. Ooh, that's, that's, uh, that's not a good... We won't be getting in the money we need. And also, how are these? So, like... How much is being used? Okay, nearly two of these are, and 
Are any of them, like, fully upgraded? Nope, that one's not upgraded. And I know these two aren't, so... Nope, we are... We're, we're doing rather really well. We've had one death. Polly's unidentifiable sibling, because, well, we can't identify him. Oh, and those Serratos are moving quick and good. And actually, we're going to introduce a Dilophosaurus at base level, because we don't want it overpowered, because none of the Packies are yet. And we're actually going to put him... We'll put the Dilophosaurus here. He'll be our, like, wandering eye, you see. He'll be observing and documenting the entire life of the dinosaurs. And I think after these Serratos come... Well, actually, I think we're going to leave it there, guys. It's a rather short episode, I know, but in the next episode, we will start working on another section, maybe, and also spreading out and expanding the island a little bit more, including the goats, all that. But if you've enjoyed this video, we'll stay with Sebrachiosaurus. I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, Hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, be safe, and until the next video, I'll see you later, where we'll start by introducing Bruton. Bye bye